everybody, Susan Lazard, Heart Ear, your congruency coach for creatives, for seekers, for people actually asking to be happy with a joy-filled and fulfilling life. If that's you, you've come to the right place. This is uh, February and for February we're talking about choice. We're asking questions about choice and following up on the congruency quickie on Wednesday uh, that if you haven't seen, it's just scroll down, it's right here. Uh, we're going to be following up with what does choice create for you, right? What is choice and what does it create for you? Uh, could be a simple, it's like, come on, Susan, I know that. Okay, let's dive in a little deeper and see what it is that's preventing you from playing and creating with the choices that you're making. Because that's the feedback that I'm getting from people. Uh, people who ask me for private sessions, people who are working with me. Uh, okay, I'm choosing this, I'm asking for it, and it's not showing up. So we're going to be playing with that a little today. Uh, if you're coming in, tell us where you're from. We've got an international community. And if you pop in later, just hashtag replay. And as always, I check in every day for your comments, for your questions. And of course, if you want to contact me and you say, Susan, I got some questions and I'm just not comfortable saying them here on the Facebook post, contact me, private message me, and uh, let's, let's see what we can change together because there's no reason for you to be holding yourself back with, when you actually don't get what it is that you're not getting by choosing or not choosing. So <laughs> let's go. Uh, each choice is, you know, we choose all the time. I'm choosing now. When, as I move my hands, it's a choice. Uh, what I'm choosing, what, what am I wearing today? Where I'm doing this video from? Where we're doing live asking, uh, live ask, live asking with Susan? Live, <laughs> ask Susan live, whoa. Uh, it's all a choice, right? And when I choose it on Sundays, I'm asking, okay, so what energy, space, and consciousness can my body and I be to be really aware of what people are asking of me as a coach, right? As a congruent living coach, what, what, what are they asking of me, right? That's, my, that's a choice to be in the question rather than, okay, we're doing Ask Susan, it's going to be about this and it's going to be about that. That's why I invite you to come on live and ask your questions, right? So... One of the things that I know for sure is we do have choice. Choice is, it's every 10 seconds, right? And we could choose the same thing again and again and again. It, we have choice. We're brought up with choice. Now, many of us were brought up to believe we don't have choice, right? We're brought up with do as I say, not as I do. Uh, this is what I'm telling you to do. You have no choice here. And you buy that belief system because you're, you're being told it by somebody who tells you they love you, by somebody who is your, your keeper, by somebody who is being there present with you to uh, give you food, to change your diaper, to, to educate you, whatever that is, right? You have no choice. Well, we always have choice. Hey, Cosette. Hey, Cindy. Welcome, welcome. We always have choice, but we're taught at a very young, young age, you have no choice. Or you're given a choice of what flavor ice cream do you want? Vanilla or chocolate? Well, there's a, about 50,000 other flavors in the world, right? But you're taught, oh, my choice is really between A or B. And so at a very young age, you start to put blinders on to the possibilities that you have possibilities, that you have choice, that you have all of these choices, right? And they're there for you to play with, to invite into your life, for the universe to play with you. And the universe is, is, your universe is created from your choices. Huh? So, when you are not willing to follow up on your choice, you, you tend to get what you ask for. So, people who come to me and say, I'm choosing more money, yet they have a scarcity mindset. So the, the, there's never going to be enough. I'm never going to make that money. It's not possible. People like me, from my family, from my culture, from where I come from, we don't have that kind of money, whatever that is for you. And I use money because it's something that everybody can relate to. Right? So 
If you're taught at a very young age a belief system that there's never enough money, that you have to choose to work hard and, and, and not for the joy of working, not for the discovery of working, not for the, the um, education of how you like to work, how you like to create income. You're taught you've got to do this. You have to do it this way. You have a belief system that accruing money is going to be hard, that you have to work nine to five, whatever that is for you, right? And how many people say, I'm choosing to create money, but they follow through with an energy that's, we'll call it a negative energy, an energy that's based on fear, that's based on scarcity, that's based on, I will never have enough, that's based on never having enough, right? So that's the vibration that you actually put out with the choice that you're making. So what does the universe hear? What, are you, what, what vibration are you holding on to more strongly than any others? It's the, it's the I'll never have enough. It's not for me, I'm scared, I, I have scarcity, right? Uh, if only I could just. When the universe has this huge bountiful basket to gift you of money you can play with, of money you can accrue, of, of, of what money is like for you. But you, if your vibration is so strong, it's negating the choice. So what the universe hears is, oh, you're choosing scarcity. Okay, I can give you that. Sure, I can give you that. You're choosing fear with money. Okay, I could give you that, right? So again, if money isn't your thing, replace it with whatever is. Uh, if you, again, what I'd like you to uh, understand is if you are choosing you say, I'm choosing this. I'm choosing to have a fabulous day. And then somebody came along and then wrecked it for me. Well, did you, did you follow up with a vibration of what choosing a marvelous day would be like for you? Right? If you're willing to be that much space. Oh, I got a thumbs up on that. If you're willing to be the space of marvelous day, whatever that is. Hey, Yuria is for you. Right? Then whoever comes into your space is not relevant. Because you're following up with the vibrations of the choices you're asking to make. Now, let's take a pause here. Any questions? Uh, is, are, are we in the right lane? Is this, is this making, making sense to you, right? Uh, again, the, 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 choice, the choice of choice for February, for the theme of February, has to do with the, the questions that I'm getting from your, this wonderful congruent living group, right? And uh, so I want to address those questions. I listen. When you write me something, I listen. If you private message me, I listen. You know, if I ask you what, what, what's going on for you, I'm listening, right? And so please don't be shy. Always come in with your questions. Uh, Cindy, what would it take for me to make a choice and then continue to choose it so I, it can become something? Ah, it's exactly what we're talking about. So you choose. When we, okay, I'm going to break this down a little bit, Cindy, and, you know, come on in here with more because this is great. What would it take for me to make a choice? We actually choose. We're choosing all the time. You get an idea. Oh, I'm going to, I'm going to create that. Oh, yeah, that, that would feel great. Or I'm going to eat that. Or I'm going to go out with this person. Or I'm going to have sex tonight. It's like when you choose, you choose. You, oh, I'm so excited. I'm like knocking it all off, right? This is like, I love this question. When you choose, you're choosing with your whole being and body, right? So it's when we say, what would it take for me to make a choice? Stop yourself right there and ask, what belief systems are, have you bought into? with choosing right? how many of you are told well if you're good then you can choose you can have a present if you're good you can right if you get good grades you can choose any college you want if you follow this diet you'll be able to choose some clothes do you see cindy says lol she's laughing out loud do you see how that works cindy and everybody else who's listening be and and again come in hashtag replay with your questions about this because i I love this question. That's not us, right? Because it says, yes, Cindy, love this question. That's not, that's not your infinite being. That's not the infinite being. That's the training you have, that you are undeserving. And the only way that you're allowed to make a choice is if you deserve it. You know, how many of you are told at a very young age? And when I say young, I, it's zero to seven, right? 
or that subconscious is so strong in there that it's, it's just taking in all of this information as if it was real and true. You know, how many of you were told you'll get a, the choice is a gift, it's a present. It's, you don't have the right to choose. How many of you were told that? You, you, you're bad, you don't have the right to choose. Or I have to go out and earn this money and I put this food on the table, you don't have the right to choose what you want to eat or not eat, just eat it. Right? Do you get that? So it, it, that's not who we be. Once you have that awareness of like, oh, wow. How many of you were told choice was a gift and the opposite of a gift was the punishment? Right? The punishment was, you don't get to choose. My mom used to ask me to choose my punishments. Right? <laughs> well, you did this wrong, now choose your punishment. It's like, oh, okay. All right. right. It's like, so how many of us were brought up that when we choose, it means we're punishing ourselves. I don't, whoever that belongs to, right? Thank you again for bringing this one up, Cindy. Uh, anybody else that was punished with choice, give me a high five or yes, that was me, right? Uh, yeah, Cindy, great question, Susan. Wonder what would happen if I asked that 30 times a day? <laughs> well, just be with it, right? Thank you, Cindy, to be with it. Again, uh, this information is for you to be, be with it, right? Uh, we're often taught to say this mantra 30 times or ask this 30 times, it'll clear it out of your body. Not so much if you're not willing to be present with what you're choosing, <laughs> right? That's what we're talking about this week. Uh, again, uh, it's about are you, what are you following up with the choices that you're making? How many of you say, okay, I'm choosing this, I'm going to say it 30 times a day, and it's like, okay, that's done, I'm moving on to something else. And then you say, well, I, I chose it. I said it 30 times. Well, you've got to be willing to be the energy of the choices that you're choosing. It's a big one, right? You've got to be willing to be the energies of the choices that you're choosing. It's not about, you can read all the books you want. You can go on all the diets you want. You can take all the courses you want. Knock yourself out. If you're not willing to actually follow the energies, right? I'm choosing this, okay. Uh, I'm choosing to get up early every morning and work on my whatever that is. Well, you actually have to then commit to the choices that you're choosing and follow up with the energies of like, yeah, I'm the kind of girl that gets up early and follows through with what I'm, com I'm committing to with the choices that I'm making. Yes? Yeah. Cool. Cindy goes, yes. Yep. Anybody else? Anybody have any questions or comments? Uh, again, if you're watching later, I'll come in and check in. I do every day. I, this is such an exciting theme for me because just look where we're going now, right? Cindy, what would it take for me to be the energy of my choices? Well, okay, here's my question for you, Cindy. It's not what would it take for me to be the energies of my choices? Because when we say what would it take for me to take, take an aerial view, what my question for you would be, what choices are you committing to? What choice are you committing to? Just like that. Are you willing to commit to, to your choices? Because you ever notice when you choose something and it's, it's orgasmic, you don't say, what would it take for me to, you know, be the energy of this choice? I mean, when you have an orgasm and you're in bed, do you say, what would it take for me to be the energy of this orgasm? You're just like, yeah, bring it in, baby. Right? Uh, I remember being in Costa Rica and, and horseback riding and whipping my clothes off and jumping into a river. I didn't ask, what would it take for me to be the energy of joy and happiness? It was like, yeah, bring it on. You know, that's who you truly be. That's that infinite being. That's everything meeting up in a congruent way. Right? The, the choice, the energies, the action. Right? So the energies require action. Are you willing to commit to the action that's required with the choice that you're choosing? Right? It's simple as, what do you choose before you go to bed? Right? Every night before I go to bed, I will say, tomorrow I will know just what's required of me. 
I'm already putting that out into the universe while I'm sleeping. So in the morning I wake up and I also, the night before, as I go to sleep, I start to visualize what I'll be doing, where I'll be, how I'll be. Now, I could choose differently, but my choice before I go to bed is to set the groundwork for me as I wake up into my new day. That's a choice and I'm committed to it. So it's, it's not, you know, we, we tend to, to, Cindy, let me know if this is assisting you at all and everybody else on this. Can I see a thumbs up or a heart? It, it's, it's, not, it's not about what would it take. You are what it would take, right? Your commitment. And, and my second thought might be, what are you choosing that's actually not it's not that it's not yours to choose. What are you choosing that's not relevant to who you truly be? Right? Because when we don't, when we have to follow up and work hard on, on, on oh, I got to follow up on this. I have to be the energy of this. Right? Ask yourself, are you really choosing? Is that your choice or somebody else's? Right? Is that choice relating to you living a juicy, joyous, congruent life? Is that choice relating to to everything that you're creating with and, and, or not, right? And if it's a not, let it go. It's not, not your choice, not your time, right? It's not for you. Again, be with yourself and ask yourself, what is it that I'm choosing today? Right? Again, you know, before I facilitate a class or work with a client or come on Ask Susan, I'll ask, what energy, space, and consciousness can I be to be totally present with what this person, this class, uh, as Susan, is requiring of me? Now, asking that question is a choice. And it's a choice I'm willing to follow up with the energies with. So I'll, I'll be present. I'll expand out. I'll tap in to all the energies of all the people coming in today. I'll tap in to the energies of what my clients are requiring of me today. Right? I'm choosing that. And I'm willing to commit to that. Yeah. Cindy, uh, yes, it's way juicy. <laughs> I thank you. Wow, I love the congruence question. Thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for you popping in today and asking these questions. That's what Ask Susan's all about. It's, it's this place to, for us to actually take things apart that people take for granted. That choice is one of the biggest things people take for granted. Just choose something, right? Or have you ever, you know, it just popped for somebody who's listening to this. Have you ever been, been accused for what you're choosing? Somebody would say, you, you choose that? Or what are you choosing? Right. And how many of you do a, a double step backwards? It's like, oh, no, 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 no. I actually, no, no, no. It doesn't matter. No, I don't, I don't care. How many of you say, I don't care when you actually do? That's a choice, right? How many of you negate your choices? by matching somebody else's reality. Oh, I got a big heart and thumbs up on that. So uh, as, as we go along in February, if you have questions on choice, please write them in uh, right here on Congruent Living for Creatives and Seekers. And again, if you're saying, Susan, I just, this whole choice thing, I'm like, whoa, I, I really need to, to, to dive into this with you. Private message me, right? Or go to SusanLazarHeart.com and you can reach me through there. Uh, let's, it, life is too short not to be choosing the juicy, joyous, orgasmic life that you came here to lead, right? This is, this is who you be. You are a being of choice, right? We have choice every nanosecond. Choice creates, right? With choice, we have awareness. Choice creates. Right? Choice creates. From there we have awareness. From there we have possibilities. But you've got to choose. Right? If you're standing on the fence and you don't know what to choose because you think you're going to lose, ask yourself, who does that belong to? Right? Again, go back to those, that age of zero to seven where you have this huge subconscious thread. It's like a little river. Hey, Erica, welcome. And, and ask yourself, wow, so where did I get that from? Like, who, 
Because what happens from zero to seven, it's that, that river that, that flows through you where you're taking everything in, all the belief systems, right, of, of who you are. And it's only as we grow that we start to question these. So I'm asking you to start questioning uh, how are you choosing, where are you choosing from, and who are you choosing for? Right? Are you choosing for you or for somebody else? Are you willing to commit to your choice? Are you willing to follow up with the actions required with the choices that you're choosing? Yeah. Uh, any more questions? If not, I will love you and leave you. I am so grateful for all of you popping in. I'm so grateful for these, the time that we have, we take together. I so appreciate you being here and I so appreciate you when you come back in with your questions. Again, I always check. Uh, there's a lot of juicy nuggets in this one. Thank you so much for your questions. Uh, really, uh, Cindy, they let us off beautifully. Thank you. I so appreciate that. Uh, if there's no more questions, I will love you and leave you. And uh, in the meantime, have a re-listen. Live boldly, love greatly. And be the fearless leader that you came here to be. Right? A fearless leader is one that chooses, no matter what it looks like, no matter what it takes, I'm choosing. Right? Yeah. Oh, Cindy says, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Cindy. I really appreciate you popping in like this. Uh, have an amazing Sunday. Check out Congruency Quickies on our business page, Susan Lazar Heart Coaching. Uh, and again, what questions do you have about choice? I'll be looking for them and I'll be speaking about them because that's, that's who we are, right? We're a community. And the stronger we are, the more we grow. Choice. Choice creates. I love you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.